out here. Whoa. Show y'all what we're gonna do next. Come right here, Marcy, where they can see. Look back in there. See how I got my chain run back there to that log that's on top of that pile? Get, there, get right there where they can see. Good. Whoa. This is what I call, what I call long chaining. Uh, you know, you really can't, I mean, I could, if I cut them limbs out of the way, I could get the mules back in there to it. It'll just be a little easier getting it out to here and then backing up and hooking onto it. All right, Kate, Alice. Whoa. All right, now that we got it out here in the open, we can take the chain loose, hook the tongs and go on with it. And this is a small log, y'all. So probably what we're going to do is we're going to bunch. We're going to put two or three together. Bunch with the tongs. There's a couple more over there under that uh, pin oak. We'll get them out and bunch them. And then I'll show y'all how to uh, use double grabs. We'll try that and see how that works. my chain laying right here so they'll pull it out over the top of it whoa that's a little out whoop all right now whoop whoop Right then, there'll be the next one we're gonna get right in here. Whoa. Now we'll bring them out right here and bunch them and then see what kind of load we got and then we'll go from there. Whoa. Now y'all here we had a little bit of a problem uh, when I backed in here to get this sweet gum tie log there was a limb off of this tie log uh, that I did not see when we were cutting it and I didn't get it cut off the limb was laying flat on the ground and when I got the mules hooked and stepped them up to pull the limb hit my feet knocked my feet out from under me and I hit the ground but I want y'all to know notice what I do and also what my team does when this happens.
All uh, best I can tell, these are the last three logs we got in here. Now, they might be another one in there hid somewhere, but I want to. I'm not going to edit that out where I got knocked off my feet because that's a real thing. That's why the most important thing that you can teach that team is whoa. Because as soon as they knock me off my feet, I holler whoa on the way down and they stop. I'm telling y'all, y'all can get killed doing this. It's dangerous. You gotta have a steady team. And these are three-year-old mules and they're broke pretty good. Now they're bomb proof? No. Maybe two or three more years they will be. They'll be broke to death as some people say. Every team out there that somebody says, oh, they're broke to death, they're broke to read and write, they're this, they're that, they are not. And what I think of broke is not what everybody else thinks as of broke. But you can see right there how important this is and how dangerous it is for that team to listen. <laughs> now what I want to do is pick the biggest log out uh, of this group of three because I want to show y'all how to pull two. So we'll pick the biggest log out and take it to the truck with the tongue. We'll take grabs and get the other two. And I tell you what, since the two logs are going to be heavier than the one, we'll go ahead and get the two. I think that one over there Probably this one in the middle. Well, I don't know. This one here, it was, the tree was starting to die, so it might be a little drier. We may get this one and that one over there. So, I'm going to switch over right quick. Y'all give me just a second. All right, so here's my grabs. Again, head grabs, because they've got a ring in the middle. And two grabs on it. Run up, Tyler. Whoa. I gotta get my skip hammer because that's what we use to drive them in with. Alright, so I got my skip hammer. This one over here is further behind than this one over here. So naturally, the first one we need to get will be this one right here. Alright, there's that one. Stand up a little. Stand up a little bit more. A little more. Whoa. First thing we gotta do. Now we've got it hooked in our in our stretcher. Ye a little. Whoop. Ye a little. Yep. Alright, look at this. Whoop. Ye a little. Whoa. Whoa. Now for those of you, whoa, those of you that are concerned about how this is going to sawmill, these are low grade ties, y'all. These grabs ain't hurting nothing. It'll come out in the slabs when they slab it off at the mill. Alright. 
Now y'all right here, I had to go up here and loosen Kate's G-string a little bit. With this heavier load, it was making them drift a little to the right. You can go back and watch that video of me breaking root, the one line and where I explained the one line. And I explained this in a little more detail right. there. And I'll add that video down in the description below so y'all can go find it if you would like. Get in there, Alex. Stand up. Now, any other time, y'all, I just carry one and go on and come back and make another trip. I just wanted to show y'all. This, this is my whole reasoning for doing it this way today. It's for y'all's benefit. I want y'all to see it. We really got too long of skids to be ground skidding when we have a cart. Now, some of you might want to skid firewood and ain't got no cart. And if you ain't got a cart, this is how you do it. Uh... And this wood's heavy. You know, it's pin oak and a sweet gum. It's heavy timber. The cart will make things easier, but this is a way of doing it. And I want y'all to see that. I want to break up the monotony, show y'all something different. Because we use a cart a lot. I mean, y'all see it. Y'all know what it'll do. It'll handle big timber. We, we loaded some butt logs yesterday that was god awful big. But if you're just pulling ties and you're working a young team, this is good work for a young team because they really have to scratch, you know, to pull. And see how they're labored breathing and they're sweating up there? Y'all look at them. They're sweated up. That's good for them, y'all. That's about the best thing you can do for a young mule. Is to work them and make them sweat. When they go to sweating, they go to thinking. And the more you work them this way, like this right here, the more you work them this way, the quieter they'll get. They'll get quieter every time you work them. And believe it or not, working to this one line, now y'all may not believe me, but working in this one line, you teach them voice commands a lot better, and they'll pay you more attention. Look at their ears up there. Their ears are back here toward me. They're listening. <clears throat> All right, Kate, Alice. Now, y'all, right along in here, Alice had started lagging on me just a little bit. She was not staying with Kate like I wanted her to, and I've already scolded her one time, and then here I scold her again, and she still did not listen. So I grabbed me a tree limb here, pecked her on the hind end and tightened her up a little. Now y'all, if a mule or a horse is not doing what you ask them to do, either one, they don't understand what you're asking, or two, they're just not listening. And uh, Mr. Summers taught me a valuable lesson. He always told me, speak softly, speak one time, and then if they don't do what you ask, use a physical connection, which in this case is a small tree limb. They got to build their wind up before they go up this hill. It's a pretty good load. I imagine this is, I'm gonna say this is probably 150 feet of uh, sweet gum. So it's a pretty good load, especially dragging it flat. And it's going up a hill. I, you can't really see it on the camera. The camera just don't do it justice. But it is uphill from here to the trucks. And it goes around a curve a little bit. And pulling uphill and around a curve at the same time is, see, it's kind of hard on them. They got to, you know, keep their bearings about them. But we'll give them plenty of breaks and we'll get them up there. All right. Okay. Alice. Okay. All right. All right. Now come up. Now, one thing I can do right here, y'all, is just drop a log and go on to the truck with the one and then come back and get it. Even though I had to drop it, we don't have to go much further, if that makes any sense. But I did want to show you all a little trick when we get up here to the truck of how sometimes you can handle and load up a bigger hill. You little cake. Cake, you. You. Now come up. Yeah. Whoa. 
gets harder and harder from here to the truck, y'all. It gets a little steeper and a little curvier. So this is where we gotta, you know, let them pull a little bit, take a break, pull a little bit, take a break. I mean, it's aggravating, but it, it works. You'll get them on the truck. All right. Okay. Hey, hey, hey. Whoa. It's hard on them, y'all, right here, this hill. This hill's killing them. I knew this was gonna be a, it's a chore right through here. But they've gotta learn to trust me. And of course I already trust them, but they gotta learn to trust me too. They ain't gonna push them too hard. They give me all they got, I'll give them a break. And that's what they need to remember. But I want them to give me all they got too. I don't want them messing around. <clears throat> All right, Kate, Alice. Whoa. One more pull and y'all got it. One more pull, old girl, one more pull. All right, Kate, Alice. Oh, now y'all right along in here my gopro camera right. battery takes a crap and uh, i lose uh some of my footage here but anyway basically yeah. the idea of it is you know this is yeah. a big load going up a hill right here yeah. and it was hard for them to start it yeah. you know and they're getting tired yeah. and whatnot so yeah. what i did is i turned them up yeah. the hill just a little yeah. bit and let them kind of swing it sideways yeah. and get it started then once they got it pulled up far enough i turned them back down the hill and let them uh, kind of twist the logs down back onto the stack and it worked out pretty good I just hate that I couldn't finish getting the footage for you but anyway here we are on the last tie log coming out something else I try to do too y'all I don't try to pull big loads every single pull uh, you know I'll try to pull one big load then I'll go get you know a smaller log and let them pull that to kind of get a break and then maybe one or two pulls of doing small pulls then we'll do another big load and sometimes y'all it's best just to take a big load halfway and drop it you know and then go get a small load and carry it to the truck and then come back and get the big load later you know you just have to know your animals and watch them you know uh it takes patience and it takes time That ain't too bad for autopilot, I don't reckon. I had to have a little bit of direction, but got it pretty daggone close, I think. Hey, y'all, thanks for watching, hanging out with us. Have a good one, and uh, maybe next time I'll have a video for y'all, maybe on grading some logs. Maybe y'all can, we'll try that next time and see.